So, you know, I, I, I get a lot of heat from uh, a lot of critics who want to talk about incels. And like, oh, yeah, like particularly even on the Dr. Phil show, they were, were saying, oh, Ro Rolo, the, the red pill and the manosphere and these incels and everything. You're radicalizing these guys to be like these, you know, psychotic OCD guys and everything. I'm like, no, it's not us that's doing it. It's a fact that they were already that way to begin with. Right. And I can point, I, I'll lay it before the feet of the people themselves who want the attainable girl in the first place. They want the girlfriend experience. They want reality porn. They want something. They want to know that somebody on the other side of that screen actually gives a shit about them and they're willing to pay a small fucking fortune so they can get a nice wow. little text from somebody that says, how was your day, honey? That's all. That's what we're lacking to the point we can commodify that. How, how about this? 80% of men are deemed unattractive on dating apps and 33% of men have zero sexual partners. Mm -hmm. But you think red pill is radicalizing people? No, motherfucker, it's not. The reason why they're upset is because of that. It's so crazy to me how they're raising the, awareness. How they just That's keep. How, it's so crazy to me how they want to blame other. No, they're living lives of desperation. That's the, we, the red pill is not what made them radical. They were no. radical because they've got nothing. No. You think people people strapping their uh, a, a fucking uh, suicide vest to their chest are doing mm -hmm. so because they have upward financial mobility no, and no, a lot I, of women and, today? And matter they fact, do it out of fucking desperation. Um, no, they do it because they have clinically have OCD, and I can prove that to you. I've got I've got data sets for. Like, I'm sorry, I'm going to give you like play Mr. Wizard here again, but I <laughs> the reason why I know this is because that guy who was on. Dr. Phil, Imran Ahmed, I knew he was gonna try to come at me. I, I wish he would have on, on this particular topic because I was ready for him. Because it was at the same time that the FBI or whatever was doing their reports on the incel communities at that time and saying, oh, the, these manosphere guys, they're radicalizing them and, and they're gonna, we're gonna have another Elliot Roger who was, by the way, 2014, okay? So you can let that one go and move on to the next one or Alec Manazian or the rest of these guys who are like sort of these uh, incel killers. I, I looked that up and I go, well, why is that the case? Were they already fucked up before they became what yeah, they we were? Talked about and this, the yeah. truth is they were because there are studies out there and it's usually it's usually like yes. religious or sociopolitical studies for the guys who are the worst killers for like ra radicalization. They all share obsessive compulsive disorder. Oh, and so I wow. would I would argue that that is exact. That's where you ought to be looking and not at our community. So so here's the thing for if you consider this concept, right? Um, with a, a cartel boss. A cartel boss, they tend to be sociopaths because if they're not sociopaths and they show empathy to other people, what happens? They get killed. They get killed. So being a cartel boss selects for sociopaths. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It doesn't, you don't become a cartel boss and then all of a sudden your neurochemical pathways in your brain wave <laughs> change and you become a sociopath. No, you're there because you're a sociopath. You're there. Red, red pill is just a derivative of evolutionary psychology. There's no There's no like union card we all get. We don't pay re a red pill dues to be able to belong with a red pill. The concept of it is what happens is these men who are frustrated, they were already frustrated going online looking for some sort of lever in order to looking use that. For the girl Girlfriend experience. For looking for the girlfriend. Looking for experience. somebody out there or, who gives or, a shit or, about. Them. Or looking for a scientific rationale for their hatred towards women. But the hatred came first. The rationale came second. There's no rationale. Like R Rollo and I do not hate women. I love women. But the problem is a lot of these guys will then come here <laughs> and then they'll create an echo chamber. And then they'll, and then what happens is from the outside looking in, the media will see, oh, look at these hateful men in this group. Therefore, the group made you hateful. No, motherfucker. The group did not make you hateful. You were hateful, and you were looking for a group to belong Already to. There. That's that's what essentially what happened. Because people don't. This is another thing that just drives me crazy. People do not go through trauma and become sociopaths. You are born that way. It is a genetic disorder. I've had I've had this fucking mm -hmm. pro, this. There is no cure for sociopathy, and that's the problem that's, that's going on. These people are not redeemable. And I have this discussion with people all the time about, oh, so-and-so did this, but he can change. Like, no, these people cannot change. Mm -hmm. But they were like that when they were five, six, mm -hmm. seven years old. It and then when, didn't show. And when, yes, and when they grow up. And now that what, what happens is they were looking for a way to manipulate people, to get something for nothing. So, hey, pickup looks good. We'll go into pickup. Oh, look, this red pill goes, Let's we'll, we'll go into this, and we'll take our already fucked up beliefs. Solve my problems. Yeah, and, Sheep looking for a shepherd. Exactly. That's, what's, that's essentially what happens and so we they get blamed but then the radicalization gets blamed on people on youtube no one more time the world is unfair these men are being ignored women like women are not choosing men on dating apps that are even 5'11 that's too short for them there's swaths millions of men that are just being completely ignored it we're the ones radicalizing you take a look in the fucking mirror 